Hello everyone, it's Boofy. Welcome back to Siberia. I, uh, I'm sorry, I need to... My goodness, okay. There. <laughs> um, I have walked all over the place. And um, there was a name in that little area, the shrine, so to speak, that should have rung a bell. It, it didn't. Well, that's to me. What we need to do is we need to call mom because she's dating the dude. Hi, mom. Kate, what? Have you seen the time? Why are you phoning me in the middle of the night? Oh, sorry, mom. I forgot about the time zones. Did I wake you? Um. Well, of course you woke me up. I, I was sleeping deeply too. I've simply got to get my beauty sleep. I've got an absolutely crazy day tomorrow. I'm sorry, it's just that it's real important and urgent. I haven't got a lot of time. Well, if it really can't wait till tomorrow, Munchkin, come on, tell your mommy what's up. Uh, no way I'm calling Dan for you, if that's what you want. Mom, listen, please. I seem to remember you're seeing a Marovich or something like that at the moment. No, 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 no. Malkovich, Munchkin. Frank Malkovich. Yeah, right. So, but he's an opera singer, right? That's right. They say he had the finest voice of his time, my dear. Imagine that. That's just great. So then he must have known a famous singer called Helena Romansky. She's Russian, too. Please, if you can ask him if... Listen, honey, if it's stars you're after, Frank knows them all. I'll just wake him up and let him tell you himself. You mean he's... Do you know this song is the song that I've written for... Oh, you do? Oh, Kate, listen, you're still there. Frank tells me he did hang out with the Romansky once, but it was platonic. You know those singers. She's a great soprano. Great. Does he know where she went? Does, does she still sing? Where does she live? One second, Munchkin. Do you know... Uh, oh, oh, Frank says... She was very ill, and she withdrew from circulation. Really? Oh, what is... Oh, oh, okay. Um, she went to rest in some spa somewhere. He thinks it was called Arrowbad, but it was 15 years ago, and he's not sure. And, well, honey, when Frank wakes up, he always takes a little bit of time to get going, you know. Thanks, a bundle, Mom. And Frank, too. You're both fantastic. Love you both. Thanks again. Catch you later. Um, excuse me, he was there. <laughs> uh, anyways, we got, we got a, uh, Arrowbot option. So let's, I guess we have to talk to him again and talk about Arrowbot, maybe? We might be able to go there. Director. Ah, oh, it is you, Miss Walker. Director. I think I know where Helena Romansky is. My god. You have found Helena? That is fantastic. From my research, Helena Romansky is living in Arlbad. Arlbad? Helena Romansky is in Arlbad. You know the town then? You know where it is? Of course. It was a famous spa resort. In its heyday, Arlbad welcomed all the big wigs of the regime. To be granted a stay there was a real honor. Today, the honor has gone, along with all the generals and colonels, all washed away with the sea. It sounds like a good place if you need to take it easy or convalesce. I think Madame Romansky would be happier here. I think... She'll prefer the peace and quiet here. The perfect tranquility of our little town. That didn't help me at all. Please excuse me. I have to go now. So be it. That did not help me at all. Oh, phone call. Hello? Did I wake you up? I can't sleep at all. This 
whole business just keeps turning round and round in my head. What business, Dan? But Kate, that argument we had, have you forgotten? I really need to talk about that again. Oh, you know, I, I guess we were both a little high strung, that's all. But don't sweat it, okay? Yeah, sure. Getting carried away never solves anything, does it? I must say I felt really dumb when I hung up. Really? Yeah, I left the door to my office open and I was convinced everybody around heard me. Ah. Uh, I'm so embarrassed, Dan. Please say I'm sorry to your colleagues from me. It doesn't matter, honey. Promise me that you will never put me in that state again. You're usually so delightful. I have the impression that this journey is putting more than distance between us. Well, it's true. I'm living a whole load of new and amazing experiences. Okay, I see. And uh, still no Hans Worlberg? No. Keep me posted. You know how important you are to me. Hurry home, huh? I'll try. Big hug, Dan. That's not helping me either. It seems this monorail is controlled from somewhere else. No idea. Maybe, maybe there was a second option? A second dialogue option once we were talking about um, <clears throat> the place? Director. Oh! Arabat. From my research. Arab. You know, it sounds. I think, madame. From my. Uh, you, it, okay, so no. You know, I could get there ten times quicker if you gave me my automaton's hands back. Then I could use my train. Out of the question that I tamper with my pianist now. Please understand. There are still one or two finer adjustments that I must make before Helena arrives. Why don't you come with me? After all, you're the person in the best position to convince Helena Romanski. Unfortunately, since my accident, I seldom leave my office if I can avoid it. And it is not wise for a director to leave his city now, is it? How can I get to Arrowbad? There is one way that you can. Here, in the city, there are no suitable vehicles left. But that drunk old fool living up there, he'll have something. What drunken old fool? You mean you're not alone? What's up there? You mean you haven't noticed the space compound on the plateau? There's still some pathetic old soldier guarding it. But he's more interested these days in reaching for another bottle than reaching for the stars. And you think this gentleman could have a vehicle for me? I haven't the slightest idea. If you catch him on a good day, then maybe. But good days for him are far and few between. I wish you luck. How do I get up to the space compound then? There is a monorail that leads up to the Cosmodrome. When you are inside, I will activate the automatic pilot. Monorail? Okay, I'm going. Wish me luck. I am counting on you, Miss Walker. Is that the thing that was outside? So we just had to t talk to him? This here. Yeah, now we can get in. What way now then? What do we go this way? Is that the correct way? Oh, phone call. Hello? Kate! Oh, that you? How are you? Olivia, great, just the right person. Look, have you heard of Helena Romansky? Uh no. Is she some Russian fashion designer? <laughs> no, she's a singer. I'm going to be meeting her soon. I've just got to find a way of reaching Arlbad. Can you imagine how lucky I am? Not really. Well, what relations this singer got with the toy cocaine? You sure you know what you're up to, Kate? Uh, you sound really different, like you're changing or something. Look, it's like this. 
If I'm going to get to the end of my journey, I've got to link up this singer and the director of the Kalmkalsgrad Industrial City. Don't worry, I know exactly what I'm doing. Why did you say that I've changed? I don't know, just an impression. You sound more sure of yourself, like stronger, more confident. And that's a problem? There you go. Just takes one word and you're up on your high horse. I'm beginning to see Dan's point of view. It's getting harder and harder to back you up all the time. What does that mean? Well, it means that I had a drink or two with Dan, because he wants to talk. He feels a bit lonely, you see? And what's he been telling you? Nothing. He just has the impression you're slipping away from him. He can't see where you're coming from anymore. Like, we went to the movies the other day, and he said that you would have loved the film, but I told him that... You mean you're dating my fiancé? No! No, not dating Kate, just propping him up while you're away. All in a good cause. I can keep an eye on him for you at the same time. What would I do without you? Oh, you're jealous. Well, that's a good sign. That means you want him. Now that he'll be pleased to hear. You seeing each other again soon? Tomorrow night. He invited me to dinner at the Goldberg. You don't mind, do you, Kate? No, no, no worries. Look, I've got to go, Olivia. Take care. Really? Wow. That was... Okay, um... Kate, dump Dan and break all contacts with Olivia. My God, what was that about? She's dating him. She's cheating on him. Now, with him. Now, Dan is cheating on you with her. Oh, God. Such drama. Dump him. He's an idiot. He's a dumbass. He's a fool. Especially when they're saying like, "Hey, uh, you're, you're, you've changed." No, you haven't. No, it's you stood up for yourself. That's a good thing. I got. Where are we going to? What is, what is this? No, I don't. It looks like a, a capsule or a cabin. This is such a nasty place here. <laughs> With all the pollu what the hell? Oh, hello. Who are you? Is she a crack? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Sorry to disturb you, but you who? Can you hear me? Three, two, one, contact, and we have lift off. Oh, holy mother, a dame, a, a pretty dame on the launch pad. Uh, please, no need to worry, sir. Just do stay calm. I just want some information. Watch what you're doing, sweetheart. We ain't got no information, no strategies, no plans to tell anyone anywhere, anytime. <laughs> Military regulations, you dig it, babe? <laughs> My name's Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer from... I mean... I'm a bit lost. And I guess you know this place. Laurie's Charles, at your service, ma'am. Can I offer you something from the bar? No, thank you. Tell me, how long have you been here? For as long as it took for you to come along, sweet pea. <laughs> Don't think I've been lonely. I got a bottle or two here. Keep me company. You're a soldier, aren't you? Ex-cosmonaut? Hey, honey, that's all in the past. Hell, let's talk about today. Let's have a drink. Uh, that's an order, soldier. Uh, please, can you try and get a grip? I must absolutely find a way out of this industrial complex. Jeez, me too. I've really got to get out of this dump, but not before I've had a little drink. Here. Yeah. Get your pretty little lips around this. Vodka! Tell me what you think. Do you have a vehicle to lend me? I think I'd even test one of your rockets right now if I had to. Toast my rockets! Hey, pretty day, and I'll drink that. Now, just a minute, we gotta need a special... special... Something to blow you away. Three, two, one, contact, and we have liftoff! Who 
Okay, that's enough. What was that? Uh, did you say something? Are our female comrades revolting or what? <laughs> uh oh, trouble on its way. <laughs> Bottoms up. Power to the babushkas. It's not babushka, it's babushka. <laughs> Anyways, that dude is weird. I heard that maybe you could lend me a vehicle. A vehicle? <laughs> All our vehicles were picked up and shipped out to the borders years ago. General's orders. I say, let us raise our glass to this finest soldier this country's ever known, little lady. I don't mean to offend you, but I'm not in the mood for a drink right now. And you'll live to regret it to your dying day, sweetheart. To your health, while you have it. Does the name Hans Varlberg mean anything to you? Cars... Berg. Uh, of course I know that name. But sorry, it's been a long time since I've seen something like that around here. Varlberg. He's a person. I'm looking for him, and I think he might have come by here a few years ago. Well, in that case, let us raise our glasses to this brave man and his very good health. I came here by train. But I've got this mechanical problem. I had to leave the train down in the industrial zone. The director down there told me you were here. Aha. Borodin. That dumb traitor. I tell you, he's gone over to the enemy, over to the dark side. It's terrifying, the darkness. He eating out his brain. The <laughs> jerk. Mm, that's maybe going a bit far. He is a little eccentric, I'll grant you that. But when you live on your own, cut off from the world for so long... His brain's gone A-W-O-L, I tell you. There's no darkness in my brain. I've got a cure. See? My secret antidote. Go on, ha have some. It it'll stop you getting a cold. I don't think I'm in a high-risk category, but thanks anyway. So many birds nesting around here. What attracts them all here like that? Dumb birds. But at least a bird don't get bored, does it? See? They can fly. Them birds, jeez, they can fly. Sounds like you're jealous of them. Well, maybe you're just right there. Because sometimes I like to let Soyuz loose and watch them circle for hours on ends. The birds, they crap themselves when they see him coming. Don't stop them coming back, though. Soyuz? Soyuz, ma'am. A silver angel. A savior who cleans our cosmodrome of them dirty rats with dirty wings. I need to get to Arlbad, and quick. You go ahead, soldier. I'll stay here and keep you covered. I got the supplies here. Gotta keep an eye on them. Tricky job, too, you know. All these bottles. Uh, yeah, but how how do we get there? I need to. You go ahead. I was going to. Oh, forget it. It doesn't matter. He's too drunk to help anyone anyway. I am not drunk. I have drunk a little. <laughs> well, that was very interesting. But how the hell do we get to? Oh, what is that? A bottle. Can we give that to him? Strange. Sure, I left a bottle or two around here. I gotta get some air. Wall's getting pretty tight. We'll think about that blast off later, huh? You are. Hey, okay, Colonel. Are you sure you're all right? What do you think? He's drunk beyond recognition. What? Whoa! <laughs> what are you Be doing? Careful. Don't lean out too far, or you'll. Ah. Oh God! What a mess. Well, we're gonna continue this story next time. So thank you very much for watching Siberia, and I will see you next time.